Hello YouTube, this is Don Brandt and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a simple thumb screw project for the uh, belt drive case for the G4000 Grizzly Metal Lathe. And again I'm playing with Adobe Premiere Elements so you'll see some new transitions. This is just the first little project with a mini lathe. Uh, I do not have it dialed in yet but I just wanted to get some cutting time in and uh, play with some of the new tools. So coming up, I'm going to go ahead and put a knurled finish on this brass stock here. So most of the time I'm working here, um, I'm cutting a lot of video out where I'm getting my tool height set up and getting everything adjusted properly. So my overall plan here was to purchase this lathe and then sell my two other lathes, the red and the gray one. And uh, crazily, it worked perfectly. Uh, I put my two lathes on Craigslist and they actually sold. Uh, this weekend, both on the same day. Incredible. I'm actually going to miss red and gray. I've spent so much time, so many hours working on them and fine tuning them. But it was time to upgrade, and I'm really happy with the trade off. So here we have an M6 metric thread, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and drill this out, tap it, and then cut the uh, head of the bolt off. I'm using a number 8 index drill. Uh, to make a roughly five millimeter hole uh, for this six millimeter tap. I'm just starting the tap uh, in the brass here with the lathe to get it centered and then after I've started it I'm going to go ahead and use the, the uh, hand tool to finish the thread out. Now it's time to part off the piece of brass. After that we will test thread the bolt into these newly created threads. When I'm done with the testing, I will go ahead and take the bolt over to the uh, metal saw and uh, cut the leading part of the bolt off, leaving mainly just the threads. And here I just recorded the setup, the camera image setup, and then didn't film cutting the bolt. So I'm going to get two 6mm nuts, and I'm going to go ahead, and I didn't finish the threads all the way to the brass, but I'm going to tighten the two nuts together and then uh, uh, force fit the uh, bolt into the piece of brass. When I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and pull one of the nuts off, take the other nut, bring it all the way to the end, and this is so I can get it mounted in the lathe. So coming up next, uh, I'm just going to use a router bit as a rounding edge, and I'm going to round uh, just the uh, top edge of this off. And after I'm done rounding it off, I'll go ahead and take the cutter and smooth out uh, the face of it. So I'd like to give a shout out here to Sergio. Uh, he bought my gray lathe. Um, young man, he's in school. Uh, he's in metal shop in high school in O'Fallon. Um, tried to give him uh, everything I could to get him started. Gave him some materials. Anyway, Sergio, good luck with the lathe. And another thing I wanted to mention about Sergio is he's planning on building the Demon V8 engine. Um, and I wish him the best with that and can't wait to see his results. And as for uh, red, that was purchased by a gentleman uh, by the name of Jeff. And uh, Jeff, uh, hope you're a new subscriber to the channel and can't wait to see or hear about some of the projects that you've put together uh, with the red lathe as well. I'm going to leave you here with some goodbye pictures of uh, the gray lathe. Uh, would also like to hear any comments or thoughts about the new editing. And thank you very much for watching.